All right, guys, we got a big project starting today. We're redoing this Deep V John boat for my friend. So we're gonna do a platform right here, included on top of this bench. It'll go all the way up into the front and then up right above it, right here is gonna be a platform, just a little one big enough for trolling motor. We got these two factory side benches. One of them we're going to cut a hole out of, frame it all in wood, and then put a live well in it. We'll probably do something about the floor. Maybe something to make it level, not positive yet. And then I'm going to put a deck across this back bench all the way to the back. But it's going to be hinged so it'll come up so that he can put his battery and gas tank and stuff like that back in there and then we need to notch it out right here so that the motor can turn and not be obstructed or anything so yeah this is going to be a fun project it's probably going to happen over the next few months it's not all going to happen at once just when we have time and today what we're going to do is pull it off the trailer flip it upside down so that we can start sanding on it and start getting some of this some of this ready for paint we'll probably do the whole hull first get that all painted gray then we'll build the inside and get all that done and then we'll paint it and then we'll probably put carpet in last okay it's probably pretty noisy but we're power washing it first and then we're going to let it dry and be able to sand it for paint. We got it all cleaned up, power washed. Now we're going to get it off the trailer. We're going to flip it over and then start sanding it. Let's it pull back a little bit. Okay, now we can pull back. Each corner, so one, two, three. Okay. So, this one might be a little more like something like that. Alrighty. Got it off the trailer, flipped. Now we're ready for sanding and prepping for paint. He's got most of it sanded, but we gotta get all these stickers off so that we can sand underneath the stickers. And later on, he'll just put on different stickers, whatever he decides. But we gotta see if we can get all this scraped off, which is gonna be a long, slow process.
Okay, so all along Cody was holding out and he had the right scraper tool and didn't tell me. <laughs> I looked all over for one and couldn't find one and he was hiding it all along. <laughs> anyway, this is what I should have been using. This makes the process way quicker than what I was doing. Yeah, I got this up. Get this up and I got me done. Much easier. We're ready to do the boat now, but we gotta tape off this bottom little edge because it's gonna get beat up so much there's no sense painting it because the paint's just gonna chip and everything. So we gotta tape that off quick. We got a couple other little things on it to tape off and then we're gonna spray it. Get a coat on today and then a coat tomorrow and then it's done. Alright guys, here we got the boat paint, it has to be mixed, it's catalyzed, so this is the hardener. So we're just doing some measuring, we need 8 ounces. Okay, that's 8 ounces. And we need a fourth of a gallon over here. All right, let's see this color. It's called oil slick. Ooh, pretty cool. Now ship three. I'm gonna pour the hardener in, which I've already measured out. Perfect. <laughs> All right, guys, got the boat taped off, and we're about to spray it. Let's do it.
there guys the first coat is dry and we're about to put the second and final coat on and then this thing is going to be done we'll just have to give it a, probably a good week to dry before we put it back on the trailer Alright guys, the boat is painted. We got the final coat on. Generally I wouldn't have painted the very bottom, but it was already painted before, so we just decided to paint over it again. It'll get scratched up and stuff, but he doesn't really care, so. But there it is, there's the finished product. It'll be pretty sweet looking when it's on the black trailer. I think he's gonna get some decals and stuff for it. It'll be pretty cool. We got the boat painted, it's dusty and dirty right now. It's just gotta be washed, but the boat's on and it's heading home. And then this winter, this winter we'll be redoing the inside. All right guys, we're back. It's been six months, maybe longer. We were working on this boat. We did the trailer, we painted the outside of the boat last summer. Um, it's March now, we gotta get this thing done for spring. Um, we were going to do it this winter, but I ended up buying a house and fixing it up and just things get busy in the winter. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to build like just a couple boards back in here in these grooves. Probably just to here. We'll keep this open that way if there's water in here, you can see to drain and clean it out, any gunk and stuff in there. But he's got a, a gas tank for his motor and a battery that are going to go back here because it's an electric start motor. So he wants them flat, on a flat surface, so we're going to do that. And then what we're going to do up here is everywhere where you see the blue is going to be a deck, but flat, just down on the bottom, like th this will be the top, um, and it'll be level across the middle. Um, and then not really going to do much with this bench, we might put a, just a board on top with some carpet, just to cover up all the threaded holes and everything that the previous owner had on there. Um, these side benches, we're just going to cut a, a compartment out of both of them and then probably put wood all over the whole top with a hinge to be able to open. And then we'll just cut out the foam that we need. We'll try to save as much foam in here as possible for buoyancy. Same thing up here, deck on the bottom. And then we're going to do a deck across this whole front. So from here, from this bench all the way to the front is going to be a deck. And then up here, it'll probably go up a little bit, just like a little wall or something. And a little deck up here just for mounting the trolling motor and then in here there's gonna be like a recessed little opening for the pedal for the trolling motor so it's not so high and then we'll probably make that removable so that we can have some kind of compartment up here for the trolling motor battery and maybe any other long-term storage that you don't need right away yeah so that's what we're gonna do So what we're doing is measuring the whole thing. We got the front to back measured. We're doing side to side and getting our angle cut out.
Perfect. All right, so we got this one just roughly fit for now. We got the edges sanded and stuff. Um, this gap will be covered because there's gonna be a board here and a board up here. Back here, it's pretty tight. It's all gonna be wrapped in carpet, so it'll sit more snug on these edges too. Um, so we're gonna do the back one now and then the middle, middle section last. Let's do a foot. So go to yeah, right there. So on here we got lines marked out. This is our 46 and a half. We just picked the middle of the board that way I could cut it easier. So we'll do like in the middle like we were looking at 46 and a quarter and then 46 and a quarter and then we kind of trace the I just do the math to get the distance here and then we trace that. This is 46 and a half and here we're 46 and a quarter. So, I mean, we're, we're basically straight. That's, that's what we wanted. Yeah. You gotta move your corner a little that way. That looks pretty good. So then we'll just fill in that middle gap yep. and then we'll do supports under the whole thing, so. Yeah. We got the support underneath. We're gonna screw it into both benches all the way around for more support. We got one all the way across the middle. Um, I mean, we're gonna make it removable for now so that we can paint the whole thing. Um, but we're just doing one section at a time. Um, we'll do the, this front section next and then the middle one last. We got all three pieces of the floor on. We got the front, middle, and back. But that went pretty well. We haven't screwed it all down yet, but the supports are underneath. Nice and solid. Okay, so what we're doing for this front deck, because it's pretty awkward with how the angle of the boat is, the curvature of the boat. So we're basically just making a cardboard template and pull it out, trace it onto some plywood. And then eventually we'll have to figure out how to support it underneath in the front. This bench actually has a rail, like somebody used to have a deck on there. And it's got like 10 bolts in it. So we know that we can use that. So we're good on this end on the bench, but up front we gotta figure out a way to support it because the trolling motor pedal and stuff's gonna be up there. So that's gonna be where you're standing. So well, for now we're just working on this template. All right, we got our template cut. Now we're going to trace it on some plywood and cut it. Okay, so for the back here, um, all we're doing is basically like gas and battery storage. He doesn't want it like uneven like that on the ground. 
So we're just gonna do like a board from this groove to this groove on the other side. But it won't be the hole back here. There's gonna be like an opening here. That way if water's down there or whatever, you can clean it out. It's literally just to get a level spot for batteries and gas tank. There you go. We got all the platforms made for the bottom deck of the boat. Now we're just priming it with some oil paint before we put carpet on. That way it's all sealed up from the water. This boat's going to be stored completely in a barn all the time. So it won't ever sit out in the rain. There's just a little rain here and there when we're fishing. All right, guys, we've done a few things here. I wasn't filming a whole lot because we were just getting stuff done, but we got the trolling motor temporarily mounted on here. Somebody had already riveted a couple of brackets on this boat in the past. So we just used that same bracket. We drilled a couple new holes in it. So there's two bolts on either side. And we made this piece that'll go under here. We'll sit right up underneath. We're actually using a recess dryer vent kit, one of these, for the trolling motor pedal to have it recess in here. So we traced it out and then subtracted three quarters of an inch. So once I get that cut, I can actually build the supports underneath this front deck because so far I haven't been able to get at it because that's going to be the only access to under there. Underneath of here is the existing bench. We didn't want to mess with that because it's got foam in it and just structural integrity of the boat. It's going to be more like long-term storage or like whatever, just a battery. It's not going to be like, like for the day of fishing or that type of thing, but that will be removable so that where the trolling motor pedal sits, the whole thing will come out and then you'll be able to access in there. So the next thing we're going to do is cut this out and then we'll be able to build our supports in there, attach this together, and then it'll all come back out and get primed with oil-based paint and then covered in carpet and then go back in. Are you ready? Okay, so I'm gonna drill some holes just to get started with this jigsaw. See how it fits. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do underneath of here is build up all the supports that I need just to support up underneath all these sides. The trolling motor pedal will go right in here. Perfect. Nice. We got the whole floor of the boat installed. It's all primed with oil-based paint. It's ready for carpet. But now we're gonna switch and work on these side benches. We're gonna do some cutout compartments in them. Um, he was just thinking that these tackle boxes are pretty standard size usually. He's got a bunch of Cabela's ones, so we're gonna just make it so that there can be like, whatever. A certain amount of those in there neatly we're gonna do that on both sides but that side is gonna be like for to drop a bucket live well in Okay guys, 
We've just been getting stuff done and I haven't recorded a whole lot of this, but what we've done now is we finished building the little platform floor in the bottom of this. That seems not gonna matter because this is gonna get carpeted, so you won't even feel it. And then this piece is gonna be fastened down on both benches, and then this piece is gonna fold up and then lean against here. And he's gonna get some like rubber to put around here because these are sharp from us cutting them. But yeah, so we've got two compartments. It's still gonna be like a bench. We put a little bit of an overhang on here just to make it easier to grab and fold up rather than putting a handle on it or something. Should be pretty nice, a little extra storage. Okay, we are starting with carpet. We're starting with this front deck. We didn't want any screws through the carpet, so we're just gonna put it on after the fact and tuck it down in the sides. So we got this carpet glue, got the trowel, and then we're gonna just roll it down with this thing. And then we'll let it dry like a week or whatever, and then next weekend we'll trim this all up how it's supposed to be. But we're gonna do this piece, and then we'll be able to do all the removable pieces. We'll wrap all those. Then we'll be doing the floor, and anything that like, any of the smaller pieces that can come off, we will carpet while they're off and wrap them. This one would have just been too hard because of all the supports underneath and stuff, like I have to be able to screw it down. I don't want to put any screws through this, but if I could avoid it. So yeah, we're gonna start with this mess. Okay, so we're trying to cut this big piece at once. It's a little tricky because of these two side benches. But we're just gonna like chip away at it, cut little by little, and then eventually we'll start pressing it down. Once we get it put nearly into place, we'll just cut it roughly. We'll leave like an inch all the way around so that once we put the glue down and get it all like smoothed out, all the bubbles pressed out, we'll let it dry for a week. The next time we'll We'll trim it up like all nice, the final trim. Get it tucked down in the edges and stuff like that. So for now we're just cutting out. 
We got that bench cut out. We gotta cut this bench out and then slowly just chip away at it. Just being really careful not to cut too much. Can't really come back. This is our biggest piece. Woo! Nice! Okay. So we're trimming out all this. We're roughly trimming it, but it's still pretty close. We'll just leave a little bit to tuck in later. But it's really coming along. It changes everything once you get some carpet in here. It makes it so much nicer. And under here, there's still an opening where we need to cut out for the trolling motor foot pedal. Still gotta finish all these. Like the top's gonna have wood with carpet on it. And then the insides are gonna hit, we're gonna put carpet down, carpet the back bench. And then there's one board in the back to hold a gas tank and stuff. We're not gonna carpet that just cause it's gonna get gas and oil and stuff on it probably. So that'll be up there. And the hitches will be right on top. And then this will open like this. rubber trim done so you'll cut your hand or your arm when you reach in here for like lures or tackle of whatever inside okay so I just finished wrapping this piece in carpet so there's gonna be three bolts on both sides because this is gonna hold the trolling motor so we want it to be really secure Okay, so I'll just give you an update where we're at. We've been getting lots done. We pretty much have all the carpet trimmed and tucked down underneath as much as we can. Cut out the hole for this. That's just a recessed dryer vent kit that you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. It works perfectly for the trolling motor pedal, so that's what we're gonna use it for. And then this board on here, that's ratchet and carpet, is gonna be the trolling motor mount. And then we're just doing a couple of little trim pieces just along there, just to cover that gap so nothing's falling down there. Make sure you can see some of it right here. Just to clean it up, I mean, that was a tough spot for cutting the carpet. Um, and then same thing back here, just gonna do a little piece. And then we added this board, um, wrapped it in carpet, and then he's actually gonna have a seat, a clamp seat that's over there that'll clamp onto this back bench. And then back here is gas tank and battery. We got both of these done. And then here we just put like a rubber mat like you'd have in like your cabinets in your kitchen. This one we're gonna try to do a live wall in. He has like a little one gallon minnow bucket, but we'd like to get as big as we can in here. So we gotta figure out what we're gonna do some kind of some kind of tote or something that we can get in here and get the lid closed on. And this one's just gonna be lure storage and stuff like that. So. And up underneath it here. Probably be a battery up here for the trolling motor. So next time we're gonna get those trim pieces in place and paint it, tape off the carpet and paint it and then assemble everything back together, the motor, trolling motor and all that and it'll be on its way. All right guys, it's painting day. We got all the carpet done. So we're just gonna tape it off. We'll go run tape around the edges and some paper. And we're just gonna brush this paint. We're not gonna spray it. It's just a farm and implement paint from Tractor Supply. So everything that's not carpet and underneath of the rail, the top rail will be painted. So start taping off and getting ready.
All right, guys, we got it all taped off and ready for paint. We're not actually spraying it. We're just gonna brush it, but just won't, didn't want to take any chances with getting any on the carpet, so we decided to cover all the carpet. So everything you see that's gray on the inside up to this rail, we're gonna be painting. It's actually a lighter gray than what this is. Here's the paint and here's the hardener that goes in the paint. Stir it up really well. Woo! Woo! For its coat of paint. Just keep it nice and even. Nice and even. Okay guys, the day has come. Today we'll be finishing the boat. Other than anything that he wants to add later, but as far as everything that's planned now, we'll be getting it done today. We gotta pull all the paper and tape. We're putting his motor on. We're putting these seats back on. We gotta mount the trolling motor in the front. But yeah, any other odds and ends, we could get the gas tank and the batteries installed. And then it'll be shipping out today. So we're gonna mount the motor right now. And then we'll start pulling all this tape and paper out. Woo. Okay, so now we're gonna pull all the paper and see how it looks. Uncover all the carpet. Okay guys, we finished the trolling motor, got the motor mounted, got the pedal mounted in this recessed panel, under here is the battery, so he'll be able to just easily lift this up to charge it. We got, this, we got the pedal screwed down because it was moving around a little bit, so it's really nice having it recessed down like that, it's a lot harder to balance when it's not. When it's just up on the deck, it makes it kind of hard to stand and do it at the same time, but this is pretty nice. We're going to be installing a seat right here so that you are able to, if you want, to just sit up here and fish and control the trolling motor while you're sitting down, which that'll be really nice. So that's what we're going to do now. Tell me what you think. <laughs> <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> Pretty sweet. So we got a layer of plywood here. 
that the carpet's wrapped on. And underneath that is the original bench from the front here. So we drilled through that and under that styrofoam. So then this will sit in here. I'm gonna have to do some more drilling out and cutting, but that's the idea. Got the seat installed, got the trolling motor installed. This is just so that another person can sit up front and if you want, you can control this while you're sitting down, which is nice. And the cool thing about this seat is that you can easily just pull it out. This pulls out too. That comes out and then you can store it this way without having the big seat sticking up. So pretty cool. Pretty quick and easy. Now we just have to put the gas tank in, the battery in. Since it's an electric start motor, then we're gonna put that in a bucket or use one of those plunger things and uh, get it running. Okay guys, the boat is totally done and about to head home. Turned out pretty sweet. We redid everything. We redid the trailer. We redid the boat. All new carpet, all new paint on the inside and the outside. We put compartments in both of these benches. A little platform back here for the gas and battery. Built this deck up here with a recessed trolling motor pedal, the pedestal seat spot, and then that trolling motor pedal comes out and there's a trolling motor battery. Turned out pretty awesome. Trailer has completely everything brand new. New wheels, new lights, new, new bunks new rollers, all new hardware up here, new winch, literally everything, new jack stand. The final test of the boat is if it can catch us any fish. It's all done and ready to go in the water. We're going to give it a try. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Woo! There nice. we go. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. That's a good size one. That's what we're here for. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Another bass. Whoa! They're pretty good size today. Yeah, it is. Ice cream with red sprinkles. <laughs> red. Woo.
Okay guys, we just got back. We took this thing out fishing to see how we liked everything. And I think it passed. What do you say? Awesome. Everything went really well. Trolling motor is awesome. The motor runs awesome. We could have gone a lot more crazy with compartments and things, but we kind of wanted to keep it simple. We really didn't change much from factory other than cutting out these benches and then throwing a, a platform up here. But other than that, like the, the bench is still under here. The bench is still back there. We just wanted to keep it simple. Trailer's all redone. The boat's all redone. We started this project last summer. It's taken us a year. But it's done, so now it'll be like this for a long time. Um, anyway, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. We got some some big projects coming up, so stay tuned and check back in.